Hi, this is Orion Field, and this is my 1400 scale model aircraft collection video for 2021. I have 545 aircraft to go through, and I'm going to do them in batches, starting with Aeroflot and some of the former Soviet Republic airlines. So starting off, we have an Aeroflot Liznov Li-2, which was the Soviet production of the DC-3. Then we have a Donavia Tupolev Tu-154, an Aeroflot Ilushnin IL-62, followed by an Aeroflot Boeing 767-300 in the old paint scheme, and an Aeroflot 767-300 in the new paint scheme with the special livery for the Olympics followed by an Uzbekistan Airways Boeing 767-300. Moving to the back row, we have an Atlant Soyuz Ilushnin IL-86, an Uzbekistan Airways Ilushnin IL-86, an Aeroflot Ilushnin IL-86, an Aeroflot Ilushnin IL-96-300, and an Aeroflot Cargo DC-1040. Next up, we have Alitalia, starting with an Alitalia Express, Embraer ERJ-145, then a Sud Aviation Caraval in the 1960s scheme, a DC-9-30 in the 1960s scheme, two more DC-9-30s, one passenger and one cargo in the 1970s, 80s, 90s scheme, and one ATI, Alitalia, former uh, special um, hangar club model, number 21 out of 120 in the blue Alitalia scheme, an MD-80 in the 2000s scheme, another MD-80 in the McDonald's Alitalia scheme, and the 727-200. And you have the Airbus A319, A320, two Airbus A321s, the Airbus A300, Boeing 767 in three different schemes, and the Boeing 777-200. And you have three DC-862s, one of them in the cargo scheme, the 747-100, the 747-200 passenger, and the 747-200 cargo. Next up, we have Lufthansa and Air France, starting with a Lufthansa 737-100, followed by three 737-200s, one regular Lufthansa, Lufthansa Express and Lufthansa Cargo. Then we have a Lufthansa 727-100, Retrojet Airbus A321, Boeing 707, Airbus A300, Lufthansa Cargo 747-200, and a regular Lufthansa 747-400. Moving on to Air France, we have the DC-3, the Airbus A318, 19, and two Airbus A321s, followed by the 727-200, Hangar Club exclusive Boeing 707, and three Air France Concords in the three different paint schemes. Moving to the back row, we have the Airbus A310, the A300, an Air France Cargo 747-200, an Air France 777-200, and two Air France 777-300s. And now for the British Airways collection, starting with three Douglas DC-7s, a Boeing Stratocruiser, two Bristol Britannias, one BOAC and one BWIA, two Hawker Siddeley HS-748s, a Vickers Viscount, and a de Havilland Comet. Then we have the Airbus A318 and the A319 in the regular scheme, 
Then we have two special livery A319s, a Landor A320-100, and a special livery A320-100, a Landor A320-200, and a special livery A320-Neo, followed by a Hangar Club exclusive, the only 727-100 British Airways ever had. Followed then by three 727-200s in the Denmark livery, Scotland, and Union Jack. Then we have two Hawker Sidley Tridents in the Negus and the Landor livery. Moving on to the 737-300, 757-200, Concorde, Vickers Super VC-10, then the 707-320C in the cargo version of that, in the BOAC paint scheme, and then two more 707-300s in the British Airways Negus scheme, followed by one 707-400 in the BOAC scheme. Moving on then to the BOAC 747-100, the 747 in the BOAC British Airways hybrid livery, 747-100 in the Negus livery, and the 747-100 in the Landor livery. Then we have two DC-10s, one Landor and one Air Liberté with the um, text from the Declaration of Human Rights, followed by the 747-200s in the Landor, British, oh, sorry, Negus, British Cargo, Landor, Chelsea Rose, and Union Jack. Moving on to the back row, the 747-400s, we have a British Asia Airways Landor, British Airways World Cargo in the Chelsea Rose livery. We have a British Asia Airways in the Chelsea Rose livery, followed by two 747-400s, in the uh, Australian liveries, followed by a regular British Airways Union Jack 747-400 and the One World livery. Now moving on to my random European aircraft, I have a KLM El Lockheed Lola Electra, two locked Polish Airlines Ilishnin IL-18s, one of which is a special hangar club model. Then we have another special hanging club model of an Interflug IL-18. We have a Monarch Bristol Britannia and a British European Airways Vickers Vanguard. Moving on, we have a British European Airways De Havilland Comet 3 and two British European Airways, one of which is the Air Tours De Havilland Comet 4s. Then we have two Ryanair 737-200s, which are actually technically the same aircraft, just one of them was with the special Valentine's Day paint scheme. Then we have a Bellavia Embraer 195, an Aer Lingus A320. And then we have three British European Airways Hawker Tridents, a Trident 1, Trident 2, and a Trident 3. Moving on to the back row, we have an Aer Lingus 707, an Iceland Air 757, an Aer Lingus 767-300, an Aer Lingus A330-200, Swiss Air A340-300 in the San Francisco special livery, the old colors for the Aer Lingus 747-100, and then a KLM 747-400 ERF. Now for my Middle East collection, starting with the LL Bristol Britannia, then we have a special hangar club release of a LL 720B. Then we have four Boeing 707-300s in various LL paint schemes, including the Flying Tigers hybrid scheme, followed by two 707-400s for LL. And then we have the LL 767-300 and then the Former Flying Tigers, LL 747-100F. Moving on to the rest of the Middle East, we have a Middle Eastern Airlines de Havilland Comet 4. We have another Hangar Club release uh, for a Kuwait Airlines de Havilland Comet 4. 
We have the 50th anniversary Golf Air 767300. We have the Qatar Miri Flight ACJ19. We have a Qatar A330-200, an A330-300, A340-200, and then we have an Emirates A330, an Emirates A340-500, and a 777-300. Then we have a Saudi Arabian 747-300, a Qatar A380, and a pre-delivery Etihad A3. And now for my Asian aircraft, starting with the Cathay Pacific A330-300, the A340, the Silver Cargo 747-200, the uh, Special Livery Hong Kong 747-200, the Asia's World City 747-400, the One World 777-300, and the Asia's World City 777-300. Moving on to the other Asian airlines, we have a special hangar club Air India A319, a CAAC Chinese Ilushinan Isle 18, two CAAC Boeing 777s, 300s, two Boeing 707 300s for Korean Air, one passenger and one cargo, an Air Ceylon de Havilland Comet, an Air India 707 from the Hangar Club, Singapore Airlines 707-300, Hangar Club Singapore Airlines A300, JAL One World 767-300, Korean Air 787, China Eastern A320, and A330-300, JALways 747-200, Singapore Airlines Tropical 747-400, the Malaysia Hibiscus 747-400, an EVA Air Cargo Converted 747-400, Air India 747-400, and an Air India 777-200LR. Moving on to Australia and New Zealand, we have a Tasman Empire Airways Lockheed Electra and two Air New Zealand Lockheed Electras and an Air New Zealand 767-300 with winglets. Moving on to Australia, we have an ANSET ATL-98 Carver, a Trans-Australian Airways 727-200. Moving on to Qantas, we have a de Havilland Comet. One, two, and three 707-300s, including the Christmas livery. A 767-200, a 747-SP in the old livery, a 747-SP in the not-so-new but newer livery. Same thing with the 747-300. Then we have a 747-300 in the Nalanji Dreaming and the Wunala Dreaming 747-400 ER. ER. Then we have a regular Qantas 747-400 and the One World Qantas 747-400. Now on to my South and Latin American and African fleets. Starting with a Lan Chile Caraval, a Ladeco 727-100, an Aero Mexico DC-850, and two Varig DC 1030s, one of which in the World Cup special livery. Moving on to Africa, we have an East African Airways leased Aer Lingus 747-100, a Hangar Club exclusive Air Afrique DC 863, number 4 out of 120, an Air Afrique Cargo 747-200F, we have a South African Airways 707-320B, a South African Airways Cargo 707-320C, and a South African Airways Special Livery 747-300. Now we have my Canadian aircraft collection, starting with the Buffalo Airways C Curtis Wright C-46 and the Nordair Ice Reconnaissance Lockheed Electra. 
Moving on to Canadian Pacific, we have the DC-3, two DC-863s, two DC-10s in the later paint scheme, one of which has the polished metal underside, which is 29 of 120 from the Hangar Club, followed by the 747-200. Moving on to Air Canada, we have a Vickers Vanguard and a Vickers Merchantman, a DC-850, and two DC-861-63 cargo jets, followed by a Hangar Club exclusive Air Canada L-1011 TriStar number 50 of 54. Here we have our batch of factory painted aircraft, starting with the Boeing 367-80, prototype for the 707. Then we have the first ever 727-100, the 737-600, the Boeing business jet based on the 737-700, the first 747-100 City of Everett, and the same aircraft in its first flight paint scheme. Then we have General Electric's engine test bed for the GE 90 engine for right there on the number two spot. Moving along to Douglas, we have the prototype DC-8 in its DC-850 configuration. Then we have the Pacific Pacer, which broke the speed of sound, followed by the prototype DC-9-10 and the prototype DC-10 Series 30. And now for my miscellaneous U.S., North American, and other uncategorizable aircraft. Starting off with a U.S. Airways Express CRJ-200, a U.S. Airways Express ERJ-145, a Northwest Airlines CRJ-900, a Braniff BAC-111, a PSA DC-930, Hugh Hefner's private DC-9-30, one of my only fantasy models, a Playboy A320, uh, a Northwest Airlines DC-950, an Allegiant MD-83, JetBlue Airbus A320, Ports of Call, Convair 990, Siskey International Airlines, Convair 990 as part of the 400 scale hangar club exclusive, number 13 out of 120. Trans Global Airlines, Boeing 707-300C, as featured in the airport film. A World Airways, 727-100. One of the very few 737-100s, from Air California, a 737-200 from Air Florida, a 737-300 from US Air, and a 737-800 without winglets from Miami Air. Then we have a US Airways 757-200, a Trans International DC-850, a National DC-850, and then we have my two Braniff Calder models, the DC-8 and the 727-200. Now moving on to my 1-400 scale space collection, starting with the Space Shuttle Endeavour in the landing configuration, the Virgin Galactic VSS Enterprise, the NASA Space Shuttle Carrier with the Space Shuttle Enterprise, and the Antonov AN-225 with the Soviet Buran Space Shuttle. And behind that, we have the Apollo Saturn 1B and two Saturn 5s, one in the Apollo 11 configuration and one in the Skylab configuration, followed by the launch configuration for the Space Shuttle. And now for my military aircraft collection, starting with Royal Air Force Vickers VC-10, the Royal Canadian Air Force slash Canadian Armed Forces CC-150 Polaris, the Israeli Self-Defense Force Boeing 707 slash VC-135, and the Japan Air Self-Defense Force Boeing 747-400.
Moving on to the United States, we have a U.S. Army Air Force C-47A from the D-Day invasion, two United States Air Force C-47s, a United States Navy R-5C-1 commando, a United States Navy C-121 constellation, United States Air Force LC-130R Arctic Hercules, two United States Coast Guard C-130s, one HH-130H and one HH-130J, one United States Marine Corps Blue Angels C-130T, one United States Navy C-9B, one United States Air Force VC-9C, two United States Air Force T-43s, one in the regular U.S. Air Force trainer version and one as a transport, the CT-43A, under Janet, going to Area 51. Then we have the U.S. Navy C-40A and the United States Air Force C-40B. We have a United States Air Force C-22B and two United States Air Force KC-135Es, including the speckled trout. United States Navy E-6B Mercury. United States Air Force VC-137C, tail number SAM-2600. This was early in its career, and then later in the secondary VIP scheme. And then we have SAM-2700, also a VC-137C. Then we have a C-32A and a C-32B. Moving on to the back row, we have the B-2A, C-17A, KC-10A, VC-25A, Air Force One, E-4B, Night Watch, and two C-5A Galaxies. Uh, in the prototype configuration, and in the dark gray. And here we have my cargo collection, starting with the Vickers Merchantman, the DHL DC-9-40, two DHL DC-8-73s, then we have the DHL 757 in the white livery, and two of the Grand Tour 757s, in the yellow livery with James May and Jeremy Clarkson, followed by my custom 767 DHL with Richard Hammond on the tail to complete the set, followed by a stock DHL 767-300, followed by two DHL Airbus A300s in both the white and the yellow liveries. Moving along to an Airborne Express YS-11, an Airborne Express DC-9-40, and an Airborne Express DC-8-61. Moving on to FedEx, we have the 727-100, 727-200, Airbus A310, and two FedEx Airbus A300s, this one being a 400 scale hangar exclusive. UPS, we have the 757-200 and the DC-8-70. Moving on to the generic cargo aircraft, we have two Evergreen International Lockheed L188 Electras followed by a United States Postal Service 727 and a Flying Tiger Line 707-300C. Moving on to the heavies, we have an Evergreen International 747-100 cargo, followed by the 747-200 Super Tanker used for aerial firefighting, and a cargo 747-200 from Evergreen, then moving on to the Atlas Air Cargo 747-200, Atlas Air 747-400F, and the Atlas Air 747-8F. And 
the Cargo Lux 747-8F, not without my mask. Moving on to the back row, we have an Aero Maritime Super Guppy, an Airbus Skylink Super Guppy, two Airbus A300 Belugas. Then we have the development version of the Boeing Dreamlifter, and then the final version of the Boeing Dreamlifter. Next to that, we have a Volga Dnieper Antonov 124 and an Antonov Airlines Antonov 225. Now we have my Hawaiian, Alaskan, and Southwest collections. We have an Aloha Airlines BAC 111, two Aloha 737-200s, and two Aloha 737-700s, one with winglets, an Aloha Pacific DC-10, and a Hawaiian Airlines DC-10. Moving on to Southwest, we have two 737-200s, one in desert gold and one in canyon blue, followed by two 737-300s, again in desert gold and canyon blue, same thing with the 737-500s and the 700s. And then we have the 737-800 in the Freedom 1 livery. Moving on to Alaska Airlines, we have a Hangar Club exclusive Alaska Airlines 727-100 in a hybrid United Airlines paint scheme. Followed by the 737-200QC, the 737-400. 737-400F, the 737-400 Salmon 30 Salmon Livery. Then we have three Old Livery 737-700s and the new 737-700F Cargo, followed by an Embraer E-175. Moving on to the back row, we have two 737-800s in the Old Livery, a 737-900 in the old livery, a 737-900 in the new livery, a 737-900ER in the old livery, 737-900ER in the new livery, the Airbus A320 Fly with Pride livery, and the Airbus A321 Neo in the new livery. Then we have a Convair CV990, and two McDonnell Douglas MD-80s. And now for my American Airlines collection, we have a Hangar Club exclusive DC-3, followed by two more American DC-3s, a DC-4, and a Boeing Stratocruiser. Moving on to American Eagle, we have two Embraer ERJ-145s, one in the old colors and one in the new colors. It's the only new colors American Airlines plane I have. Then we have a CRJ-200, a CRJ-700, an MD-87, and an MD-82. And we have two 727-100s and a 727-200, 737-200, 737-300, and two 737-800s, one of them in the Astrojet livery. We have two Boeing 720s, one in the Astrojet livery and one in the regular American Airlines livery followed by an American Airlines 707-300 and an American Freighter 707-300C. And we have the Retrojet flagship 757, a regular American 757 and a 757 with winglets. We have the 767-200, the 767-300, the Airbus A300, the DC-10, and the MD-11. And then we have the 777-200 and the One World version, the 747-SP, 747-100, leased from Pan Am in the white, and the American Freighter 747. Moving on to Eastern Airlines, we have a special 13 out of 98 Convair 440 for the Los Angeles Dodgers. Then a regular Convair 440 in the Eastern Hockey Stick Scheme. We have a silver Eastern DC-3, a Eastern 
Lockheed L749 Constellation. Then we have two Lockheed L1049C Super Constellations, followed by a 1049G Super Constellation, a Lockheed L188 Electra, and a DC-7. Moving over, we have the DC-8, 61, and 63, the stretch 8. Then we have the DC-9-10. We have three, four, DC-9-30s, one of which in the bare metal finish, a DC-9-50 in the bare metal, the DC-10, the L-1011, and the Airbus A300. Moving on to the Boeings, we have the Boeing 720, we have the 727-100, the 727-200, the Boeing 747-100 in the hybrid Pan Am paint scheme, the 747-100 in the Eastern Hockey Stick paint scheme, the 757-200, the 767-300 in the old paint scheme, and the 767-300 in the current Eastern paint scheme. Moving on to TWA and Delta, starting with the Delta 737-200 Delta Express, the Douglas DC-855, the McDonnell Douglas MD-88 and MD-90, and two 767-400s in the interim livery and the Delta Flot livery. Then we have TWA, starting with the DC-9-10, the DC-9-30, the 717 in the final scheme and the American merger scheme, the MD-80 in the merger scheme, a limited hangar club version of the Twin Globe, TWA 727-100, number six out of 120, then the Twin Stripe, 727-100 and 727-200. Then we have the very rare Convair 880. Then the 707-320B and the 707-320C with TWA cargo jet. The 757-200 in the American Airlines hybrid livery the TWA L1011 in the Twin Stripe livery, 747-100 in the Twin Globe livery, and the 747-100 in the final Golden Globe livery. Now for Pan Am, we have the DC-3, DC-4, DC-6, DC-7C Cargo, the Boeing 377 Stratocruiser, the Douglas DC-8-30, and the Douglas DC-8-62. Pan Am ordered the Concorde, but never actually had one delivered, but I think that the scheme looks very good on there. Then we have the 707-300, there's two of those, and the 707-300C cargo version, and the Boeing 720. Then the 727-100, 200, 200 Super 27 with winglets, 737-200s in the Classic and the Billboard paint scheme, the 737-400 in the Billboard paint scheme, and two Airbus A300s. Then we have two Douglas DC-10s, one in the all white and one with the polished metal underside. Then we have three 747-100s and two 747-200s. Uh, this 747-200 is interesting because it has a nose cargo door but no side cargo door. Here is my United Airlines collection, starting with the regional jets. We have the CRJ-200, CRJ-700, Embraer 145, and Embraer 170. Then we have the DC-8-11, DC-8-21, two DC-8-61s, two DC-8-62s, and the DC-8-71 with the upgraded engines. Moving on to the 
Other side, we have the Boeing Stratocruiser, the Douglas DC-6, the Vickers Viscount, the Sud Aviation Caraval, and the Boeing 720. Then we have the 727 in the original delivery scheme, the 727-100 in the Sol Bass, as well as the 200 in the Sol Bass. You have the 737-200 in the delivery scheme and two in Sol Bass. We have two 737-300s, one in Sol Bass and one in Rising Blue, followed by two 737-700s in the Continental Merger and the new Evo Blue, followed by the 737 MAX 9 in the Continental livery. Moving on, we have the TED Airbus A320. Then we have four Boeing 757s in the Battleship Gray, Rising Blue, and the two Her Art Here liveries. Followed by two 767-300s in the Sol Bass and the Battleship Grey, as well as a 767-400 in the Continental livery. Then we have a Continental DC-10. Moving on to the 747s, we have the Battleship Grey 747-SP, 747-100, Continental 747-200, United 747-200, United 747-400 in Battleship Gray, and then the final flight 747-400 for United. Moving on to the 777s, we have the Battleship Gray, which is an actual pre-production sample. Then we have the Rising Blue, the Peter Max, the Continental Merger, and the Evo Blue, followed by the 777-300 in the Continental Merger and the Evo Blue.